Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and in this lecture, we are going to see all about some basic operators in shell scripting. So in the previous lecture, we have seen what are arrays and we have implemented them with some simple examples. But now, let us discuss all about operators in Unix shell scripting. So there are various operators which are supported by each type of shell. But in this lecture, we will be discussing in detail about born shell operators. So these are some different types of operators such as arithmetic operator, relational operator, boolean operator, string operator and file test operators. So these are all the classifications of shell operators. Now we will discuss them in detail one by one. So born shell didn't originally have a mechanism to perform some simple operations but instead it uses some external programs such as expression which is denoted by expr. So let's consider this following example where we have added two numbers. So here we have used expr program for adding the two numbers by using this plus operator. But you must remember two points very clearly. So there must be the space between operators and the expression. So here for example, as you can see, there is no space contains between this operator and expression. So it is not correct. But instead, you should give space between each operator and the expressions. And the second point is, this expression should be enclosed inside the back text, which is denoted in this given example. This was all about some introductory part to the operators. Let us discuss our first type of operators, which is arithmetic operators. So these are some arithmetic operators which are supported by the bond shell. So let's assume for this, I have given the type of operator and I have given some example in which the value of A will be 10 and the value of B will be 20. I hope there is no need for explaining this operator as it is very straightforward, which we use in our day to day operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, assignment operator, equality and not equality. So here are some examples as we have discussed earlier, we have to use the expr for performing this arithmetic operators and also we should enclose our expression inside the back ticks. But you have to remember one thing clearly, this conditional expression such as equality and unequality should be inside the square brackets with the spaces around them. Let me explain this with some simple example. So for this arithmetic operators, I have created one file. Let me show you its contents. So the file name is arithmeticoperators.sh. So as you can see, this is the content of that file. So here we have defined two variables, namely a and b, and we have assigned some values to it. And we have used the expr, which is expression program for performing some simple operations that we have discussed. So here you can see, we are storing this expression result in the another variable called val as you can see here and we are echoing that by using the dollar symbol and we have also given some conditional expressions for equality and unequality as you can see here we have given the spaces around those square brackets and also between the operator and the variable let me execute this script for making it executable we just have to use the chmod command so if you want to know how to use this chmod commands, you have to check our previous lectures where we have discussed all about this file permissions in Unix. And now we will execute our script. As you can see, it is printing the results for all our expressions. We have created two variables and passed some value to it. So first one is a which is 10 and b having 20. And it is showing all the results for our expressions. So our next topic is relational operators. So Bonshell supports this following relational operators that have given in this tabular form, which are specific to numeric values only. So this operator do not work for string values unless their value is numeric. This will work if you pass integer value to it. But instead, if it is a string data type, having the integer value, it will also perform these operations on it. So let's assume for this example, we will create variables 
a and b having the values 10 and 20 respectively and here i have given all the relational operators and their examples so as you can see first one is equal to which checks for equality not equal to which checks for inequality also i have given here the greater than less than greater than or equal to and less than or equal to this is a very straightforward and here i have used the example all these relational operators and you have to remember one thing clearly as we have discussed in the arithmetic operators topic the expression should be placed inside the square braces with the spaces around them let me show you with some example so here i have created one file named relational.sh let me show you its content So as you can see, this is the content of our file. So here we have again assigned 10 and 20 values to our variables a and b and we have used if else statement in it. So we have not discussed all about if else statement, but let's forget about that for a while and let's focus on our relational operators. So here first condition will check if there is an equality between those two variables and we have passed if else statement to it so if the values will be equal then it will print the message a is equal to b otherwise it will print a is not equal to b so similarly we have given all those relational operators such as not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to and less than or equal to let me execute this as you can see these are the results of our script. So we have passed A as 10 and B as 20. It's very simple example for your better understanding. So next one is Boolean operators. So I hope you know all about the Boolean operators as I think you might have learned these concepts in other programming languages. So similarly for shell scripting, here are some operators that are supported by the bond shell. So again, we will consider two variables a and b which holds 10 and 20 value. So the first operator is a logical negation. So this inverts a true condition into the false and vice versa which is denoted by the exclamation symbol. The next one is hyphen o which is a or operator. So if one of the operands are true then the condition will become true. And the last one is hyphen a operator, which is and operator. So if the both the operands are true, then the condition will become true. Otherwise it will show a false. Let me show you with some simple example. So for this example, I have created one script boolean.sh. Let me show you its contents. So just give cat and give the file name, which is boolean.sh. As you can see, this is our file where we have again assigned two values 10 and 20 to our variables a and b. And we have used some if else condition. So here we have used and and or operators which we have discussed just now. We have given two condition. So for and operator we have given like if a is less than 100 and b is greater than 15. So if these two conditions will be true, then it will returns true. Otherwise it will returns false. And for OR operator, we have used like if A is less than 100 or B is greater than 100. If one of these conditions will become true, then it will returns true. Otherwise it will return a false result. Let me execute this. As you can see, it is getting the results. 10 is less than 100 is true and 20 is greater than 15 is again true then it is returning a true result which is same for our operator so this is how you can incorporate boolean operators into your script our next operators is string operators so these are some following string operators which are supported by bond shell so here let's consider we have a variable a which holds a string value abc and the variable b will holds e of g and for this i have given the operators list 
and some simple examples so the first one is equal to which will check for equality not equal to check for inequality hyphen z will check given string operand size is 0 so if it is a zero length then it will return a true value the next one is hyphen n it will check if the given string operand size is non zero so if it is non zero length then it returns a true value and last one is str so it will check if the string is not an empty string so if it is empty then it will returns a false result let me clarify this by using some simple script so for this example i have created one script called string.sh let me show you its contents so just give the file name so as you can see this is the script where we will perform all our string operators so here we have assigned some string value to our variable a and b so if the a is equal to b so this condition will check for the equality similarly we have also performed inequality operator and this hyphen z which will check if the given string operand size is zero and similarly we have used the hyphen n to check if the string length is zero or not again we have used the string to check if the string is empty or not let me execute this string dot sh as you can see it is showing the result for all our operations so here the string contains some value this is the value for a string and this is the value for b string and they are not equal to each other so it is showing the same result so this is how you can use string operators in your shell script and our last type is file test operators so for testing the files we have few operators that can be used for testing various properties associated with a unix file so let's assume a variable file which holds an existing file name test which is 100 bytes and it has all the permissions such as read write and execute and here are the operators that we will perform on that file let me explain you one by one so the first one is hyphen b which will check if a file is block special file if yes then the condition becomes true otherwise it will be false hyphen c will check if the file is character special if the file is a character special file if yes then the condition becomes true similarly hyphen d will check if the file is a directory or not hyphen f will check if the file is an ordinary file as opposed to the directory or it is a special file so if yes then the condition will become true otherwise it will show false and next one is hyphen g which checks if the file has set of group ids so if yes then this condition will become true and these are all the other file test operators that you can use to test the various file properties which is associated for a unix file so this will be your exercise for today's lecture so for this just create one file which has some variable and just perform different operations to check that file as i have given here in this examples so i hope you got the clear understanding what are the basic shell operators for born shell and we have seen some different types of operators with some simple examples so if you like this video please hit subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching